so we got up way, way too early today. Whew, it's early. We left Interlochen at about 5.30 this morning. No one was awake. No one was awake. The whole town was asleep. And then took three different trains. Train number two. just to make it to this one here. And it's not just any train. Yeah. Today, we are taking the Glacier Express. Yes! This has been on my bucket list forever. I love trains and I love beautiful train rides and whenever you look up the top 10 most beautiful train rides in the world, this train comes up over and over and over again and I just can't wait. Here we go! <laughs> Now, if you have the Euro Pass like we do, taking the Glacier Express is one of the best, most high value uses of it that you can find anywhere. This train typically costs between $250 and $350 any time of year just for one person to go on it. It's about an eight hour journey from Zermatt all the way to St. Moritz, and it basically crosses the most beautiful terrain in all of Switzerland. Just from the pictures that I've seen, it looks incredible. This is included with the Euro Pass, and First Class is also included with the First Class Euro Pass. There is a seat reservation fee of $50 per person. Today we're taking the Glacier Express all the way to Chur, where we're gonna hop off and then take the next train to Innsbruck. All in all, today we're doing about 18 hours of trains and taking six different trains. But at the end of the day, we're gonna end up in a beautiful town in Austria, be able to take the Glacier Express and pretty much all of it for free. Time to go. So this is without a doubt the nicest train that I've ever been on in my entire life. In fact, I feel a little embarrassed with our giant brightly colored backpacks and our home pack picnic meals that it, I'm just amazed that we're even on this. It feels so right and so wrong. <laughs> Now we're in first class, but there's one more class up there called excellence class, and you can't even get in the door to get to the door to get there. It's exclusively for the excellence class customer. It comes with a five course meal, drinks, dessert, the whole thing. It costs $350 on top of the existing 300 or so dollars that it would cost to book a first class ticket on this. And the lighting in here, I mean, Grüezi und herzlich willkommen in Glacier Express, im langsamsten Schnellzug der Welt. Each time you hear the sound of the gong, we will provide you with a portion of valuable information. Here we go. We brought some Swiss chocolate too. It just seemed right. I just learned that there are apparently 291 bridges and 91 tunnels that we're going through. This is going to be such a cool trip. are absolutely massive and they clean them before every single departure so you know that you're always getting just the best possible view that you can get from the train. Not only that but they have windows all the way up there <laughs> just to make sure that you can see the sky above and get the whole experience. It's very impressive and of course there's blazing fast Wi-Fi on this train. When you buy your tickets you can also pay for a four or five course meal or you can order on the train. But as you would expect, the prices are higher than most other places here in Switzerland. Or you can have your own picnic.
where the wine's made and how high the vineyards are. And they say, we can sell you some on the train for just 41 francs. All the sides are so beautiful. It's hard to know which side to look at. So beautiful everywhere, everywhere you look. We just saw cows, there are sheep, there are waterfalls. Every time we hear the doo -doo -doo, we have to rush to get our earphones on. Gotta, gotta keep these handy. You never know when they're gonna go with the sacks. We just learned about the history of Swiss cheese and of course they offered us a fine selection of Swiss cheese. Dream come true. How many trains have we taken today? One, two, three. Interlocking to speak, speak to wish, wish to, wish to Zermatt, Zermatt to Kur, and now Kur to Sargans, and then Sargans to Innsbruck. One more to go. It's no Glacier Express, but it's still quite beautiful. <sighs> <laughs> that was absolutely incredible. What yeah. an experience that was. The Glacier Express has officially spoiled us. Yeah. No train will ever compare. What a dream come true. It brought me back a little bit to these like adventures of Tintin or commercials or these comic books that I used to read as a kid. And these comic books kind of glorified the golden age of travel, if you could consider it that, where everything was glitzy and new and amazing and all these trains were focused way, way more on service than they were on price. And the experience of travel was still so new and so wonderful and almost magical and exciting that the world was just starting to open up and I feel like maybe we've lost a little bit of that feeling, not us personally, but just kind of the world in general. Seeing all these huge rivers go down into lakes and then all these beautiful vistas followed by mountains, followed by snow-capped peaks, all while we're sitting there sipping wine, going past at just the perfect pace along the track in no real particular hurry. Just brought back some of those feelings of what I think the golden age of travel might have felt like. I honestly was a little bit skeptical going into this train ride. Saw a bunch of blogs that said, is the Glacier Express worth it? And I can't answer whether it's worth it for you, but there is something remarkable about being on that train, even just stepping off and going onto these other trains now. There's something about being on that train that just feels so relaxing, so magical, and so just comfortable. There's something to be said about it being the slowest fast train. Their intent is for you to actually see the beautiful countryside of Switzerland. It was all the little details inside of the train. The wood carvings and engravings on all the pieces throughout. The incredible little centerpiece when you sit down at the table. The whole thing comes together to make this experience really something special. And you can tell that everyone else on the train is just as excited as you are, which makes that experience much more fun. You don't feel embarrassed to take 
take pictures of every single canyon or every single sheep that you see along the way. It feels just a part of the adventure and you're all in it together. And I didn't feel at all embarrassed about bringing our crinkly little bag of meat and cheeses with bread. And Swiss Pringles. <laughs> Save some for lunch. You can't stop me. They're, they're really good, actually. The Swiss Pringles are, are pretty solid. Just a couple quick things about logistics. If you take the train the whole way, it's about an eight hour adventure. We stopped in Coor, which by the way, I apologize, we just learned right before we got off the train that it was pronounced Coor, not Chur, even though it's pronounced C-H-U-R, just this H is silent. We didn't know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We spent about six hours on the train and we kind of felt like that was enough. I don't know, maybe it's because we got up at four in the morning to get on trains and all we've been doing all day is riding trains. That probably has something to do with it. All right. We got three and a half more hours of trains and two more train changes before we make it all the way to Innsbruck. Uh, it's, it's raining, it's cold out here. Yeah. Wish us good luck. <laughs> so we're almost to Innsbruck, uh, train number seven. All in all, about 15 hours of train time today. Whew. 15 hours of train time might just be too much. Amen. Those buildings kind of remind me of San Francisco. Kind of nice. <laughs> oh, what a day. What a day, what a day. We are tired. What Long day of trains. It? What like day is it? 6.30 and I think both of us are just going to go to bed immediately. We made it. And today begins first day of our longest stay in a city in Europe. Slow travel. We hear you guys. Yeah. Slow travel. Yeah, we're going from three nights at every place to five. That almost counts. We're slowing down. <laughs> See you in the next one. See you the next one. The um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know where to put my, I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah, this was. So the. Oh. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> uh, okay. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And, and everything just felt what. Um, uh, <laughs> I can do down, this. I can do it. God, it's windy. <laughs> it's very comfortable. Okay, okay, you're ready. It's going. Yeah. Hi, kitty. What do you got to tell us? So many things to say. <laughs>